you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. As you guys know, I've been uh, learning how to carve with the router and we need to do a, a small modification to our router. All the chips want to come out this hole here, which makes it really hard to see. I have had a, a fan over here blowing them out of the way and it works, but we're going to be cutting a hole in our router base. Just a small modification. So I'll bring you guys along. There's a guy on YouTube that's already done this and I'm just trying to copy that to see if I can do it. See if you can too. So let's give it a try. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a two inch hole in here. I've measured down one inch on this and I put a small black dot right there where I want to uh, drill. I'm going to put a little pilot hole through mine first uh, just so I can make sure I'm on that line. If you notice there's a seam right here that goes right down your base. I'm going to drill right on that seam right there and we're going to be using a hole saw bit two inch. So we're going to get ready to get started. Now I'm not clamping this down yet. We're just going to drill that tiny hole right where our mark is. Okay, we got our little hole started there. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our hole saw bit. I'm going to set up this hole saw bit. This is a two inch hole saw bit. The hole we just drilled in there was one eighth of an inch. So we're going to get our hole saw bit set up and then we're going to drill the rest of it. All right, and I wanted to show you guys just how I have this thing clamped in here. Very hard to clamp this down. That's going to be your hardest part is getting this clamped down. I have my little center hole. I lined this piece up on the center hole of this hole saw bit. Put a piece of block of wood through the center about the height that I needed. And then I run another block out here with some little scrap pieces of wood in here. And then I clamp this big clamp down. I really can't get a clamp on the back side, but it's pretty tight in there. As you can see, it's moving the whole uh, drill press. So we're going to leave it alone and take our time cutting this hole. Just do it real slow. We want to try not to damage this thing. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? We have to buy a new one of these. So I, th I think we'll be okay though. I'm going to get this base tightened down. We're right on the money now. It'll fit right down on there. We're just going to take our time and cut it. We're at a pretty low RPM. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil on this guy. A little bit of cutting oil. We're going to go slow. We're going to kind of hold it a little bit too. Real slow. Tighten my clamp. A little bit more oil on there. This is scary stuff. Let me move it a little bit.
Okay, we did it. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It wanted to move a little bit, but it's still tight in the vise. So we're going to take it out of here and go ahead and we're going to cut this piece here next. And that is the piece that we cut out. And we were right dead center of that seam. Right dead center. We have our base in the vise now. I put a piece of wood up here to protect this top piece. The bottom is just resting on the metal. It's not going to hurt anything. So what we want to do is we want to take either a hacksaw. In my case, I'm going to use a four inch grinder, but you can use a hacksaw. And you can cut from here up into this circle and then from here up into the circle don't cut back this way because if you do you're going to cut your holes out that you need for your plastic base to bolt onto this so we're going to go ahead and cut this piece out Now that we got that piece cut out, we're going to take the Dremel tool and we're going to clean this all up so there's no sharp edges we won't get cut on. Now, uh, if you can't get it all, just take a small file and clean these up a little bit. That'll take care of all them burrs on there. And you want to do the inside and the outside. I think our base is pretty much done. Let's go put the bottom on it, put it back on our tool and see how it works. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our base mounted back on here. And uh, the, one, the guy that showed me how to do this actually sells these bases. And these things are great uh, for carving letters. This really makes this router a different tool with this little plastic base. Uh, if you're doing carving, this is almost a must in here. It really is nice. I'll leave a link in the description down below for these uh, this plastic base if you're interested in one. I'll leave a link down there on Amazon. He sells them right on Amazon. And they're actually a, a game changer when it comes to carving letters. I think we're going to have this thing set up pretty good now for doing our carving. I had a kind of an issue uh, at first. I couldn't put the camera down there so you guys can see what I was carving. But now this is not only gonna let me put the camera down in there, but it's gonna give me more light and it's gonna have another place that chips can come out besides into my face. So it's like a win, win, win situation here. Okay, that is much nicer. So now we'll be able to get the camera in here so you can see what we're carving. And like I said, more chips can come out. Let's go ahead and set our router down on here. Man. And it might have taken just a little bit more weight off of our router, which that's a good thing. These things can get pretty heavy 
when you're using them. So let's give it a try and see how it works. Okay, we have our router all set up and the little piece here we're gonna carve, just a little welcome sign. I've never carved anything like this yet today, but we're gonna try it. We're cutting about a 16th of an inch deep and I think we're using an eighth inch bit here. So it's very tiny. So we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see how this new hole up here works out for us. Well, I can say right now that I don't have half the chips on me that I did before. So a lot of them chips are going towards you uh, out that way and that made a big difference. Definitely a big difference. Look on my jacket. If you watch some of my other videos, you can see my jacket is completely covered with uh, dust. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll get you guys right back in here. Okay, we're going to get ready to cut out our letters, and I had picked up a couple more bits. I got a 3 16 bit, and then I got a quarter inch bit. And these we're going to use the flat bit to cut our letters. Now, when you get these bits, these are both basically the same brand. These, this is a CMT Carpenter, and this is a CMT Orange. This has two cutting blades. This has one cutting blade. I'd much rather pay a little bit more and get a better bit then I would this one, it's probably not gonna last quite as long. So I'm gonna be leaving some links in the description below. I'm gonna try to get this bit in the 3 16 This quarter inch bit is definitely gonna be a better bit than this one here. So we're gonna get the quarter inch bit chucked up in our uh, router and we're gonna be cutting some letters. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely helped. As you can see, there's not very much on me. There's more over in here than what there is on me. I mean, I got some dust on me, but nothing like when that was closed in. That's definitely going to help out a lot. I think that was worth the time and effort it took me to cut that out. And uh, definitely gives me more light. Chips are going that way, mostly going that direction. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll leave a link in the description for the guy that originally done this. I'm going to leave his link down there and you guys can check it out. They know their stuff about wood carving, uh, letters and signs. Uh, definitely have been a big help for me. So I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.